Hello? Oh, there we are. Hi. Welcome to our concert. That was the St. Paul Suite. Uh, we performed that in Disney. And it was really fun. And we've had a really great time learning it this year. Um, as it is April, and we're getting ready to hit AP examinations and the wise period for our seniors, I'd like to take a moment to recognize uh, we have six seniors in the string orchestra. After I call your name, please stand. Please hold your applause until the end. We'd just like to congratulate them on their upcoming graduation and thank them for all of their dedication and hard work at East Chester High School and within the music department over the span of at least like eight years. Chi Wu Huang, Caitlin Pothical. Uh, I've got Helena Tasseva. Lucas Yi, where are my others? Yansu Sun, and Chloe Shi. Let's have a round of applause. You will be missed. And now, to conclude our program, here's a piece that I think you all might recognize.
Thank you, everybody. Uh, the first of our two features tonight uh, features senior Elliot Lacombe on flute. And Autumn Soliloquy, written by uh, James Barnes, um, is a, a rather uncharacteristic work for him. He favors big, loud, epic kinds of writing, but this is very um, introspective, um, uh, very uh, emotive and reflective of the autumn time of year. And um, I know you'll enjoy this piece. Elliot sounds fantastic playing it. Autumn Soliloquy.
It's always picture time. Thank you. Uh, the, the second feature uh, is um, the very iconic portrait of a trumpet by Sammy Nesico, featuring senior Nick Kaza, trumpet.
Thank you, everyone. This brings us to the final piece in our uh, program tonight. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting the, uh, the music department and everybody, the students. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Um, this has been an eventful and very busy year. I'm so thankful that the band, orchestra, and choir had the opportunity to perform at Disney this year and that the seniors in the group were able to have that unforgettable experience during their high school tenure. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the seniors and ask them to please stand and be recognized. If you would please hold your applause until all their names have been called. John Catalano, Nick Caza, Matt Eiler, Aidan Hartenstein, Theo Jeliazkov, who I might add is our uh, East Chester High School class of 2023 salutatorian. Uh, Elliot Lacombe, Greg Moser, Christine Nemesek, Adam Oskert, Stefano Renzo, Rayon Sajad, and the valedictorian of the class of 2023, Joey Zhu. And I'll point out that not only the seniors, but the, the entire, they've all been in the music program in one shape or form or another since elementary school. So it's a testament to um, their desire to want to continue to play and improve, to stay in the program for all these years. Thank you, guys. Since 1935, Rock City Barns have stood as a genuine highway Americana. Their bold white on black signs compelling both snowbirds and Sunday drivers to, to a spot near Chattanooga, Tennessee, where they could see Rock City. Depression-weary Americans were just rekindling their love affair with the automobile when a marketing brainstorm by Rock City founder Garnett Carter turned some country barns into billboards that spread the word about the attraction's charms. Inspired by driving through the southeastern part of the United States, it is hard to miss the words painted on barns, birdhouses, and billboards, see Rock City. The attraction atop Lookout Mountain near Chattanooga, Tennessee displays the region's quirky sense of humor as well as its breathtaking beauty. Whether looking at seven states, standing under, under a waterfall, or walking through a cavern full of glowing gnomes, Rock City, like this namesake piece, is just pure, simple fun. We hope you enjoy this.
Thank you. Thank you once again for the concert band, ninth grade band, and the string and full orchestras. Happy spring, everyone.